right. Not one that should be that should be left up to the market, not one that should be left up to a person's ability to pay. So I thought about the idea, and I, I kind of wanted to ask the professor about this. I, I thought about the idea of making all housing, of all housing, the government seizing all housing and all of it being public housing, being based on your income. And if you're unable to pay, you're still able to stay. That's what happened in 1959, revolutionary Cuba, and in many other places, um, which, which we could either be on our road to right now here in Occupy Chicago, or we could be on a road to some more middle ground, because I think that there are lots of um, collective opportunities that don't move in that full direction, although I'm not saying, I mean, I haven't fully read up about how the housing part worked of the, say, Cuban revolution. Mm -hmm. Just a few days ago, the Cuban government decided that some uh, people will be allowed right, to, sell, to their sell their homes on right. the market. Right, so Tamara, for those of you all who didn't hear that, is that just recently, as the Cuban government begins to, to open up, is, is the euphemism, uh, one of the things is moving toward letting people sell their property, whereas that had not been the possibility before. So I would just talk about actually some models that we have that move in the direction of um, of making what you said a reality, which is, yes, getting to this point where housing is a right. Because while we don't have that right in our U.S. Constitution, we often say that in the U.S. Constitution we have a much better developed sense of civil rights than of social rights, and that the U.N. Declaration of Human Rights in 1948 has a much better developed sense of social rights than we have here in the United States. And one of those rights in the UN Declaration is the right to housing. So there are some other models that might get us closer to the right to housing, which might include things like community land trusts, where the community holds the land in a trust so that um, when people move in and move out, it's not that the market forces are creating some kind of market price, but rather the community sets the price for the housing. Um, and the Dudley Street, Street Neighborhood Initiative in Boston actually is one such model. Um, there's also cooperative housing is another such model. So Chester Hartman at the Poverty Research and Action Council, I think I'm getting that um, acronym a little wrong, but Chester Hartman has writ written a lot about a right to housing and, uh, and some models, as I've just mentioned, cooperative housing and, and uh, community housing trusts or land trusts as ways to go about that.